Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Pure Ice, It's Alive and Smoldering Cauldron. I'm going to start part of this off with some Revlon Blackout or Knockout, no sorry, Knockout. I've already applied my base coat too. Um, just trying to save a little time. But I'm using this black Revlon that Sister Chick Miss Debbie sent me and it's an amazing black nail polish. I love that it's so opaque for being so thin. It's great for doing layering manicures like this. So I'm just going to cap my end and my sides and get ready for the next step. So here is the limited edition Pure Ice and this one is It's Alive. I forgot to show the bottom of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it is a really cool jelly polish. It's just packed with all kind of glittery yummy goodness and it looks awful pink right now but it does build up it gets a little it's a really weird color it's not really red it's not really orange it's not really pink it's just kind of a mix of all of those I had this on this weekend when me and my mom went shopping and she just couldn't quit looking at it she's like I love that one and here we go with the limited edition pure eyes smoldering cauldron it's really jam-packed with all of these flakies. It is just crazy cool. And I'm just applying that over the nails that I painted black. And it's just, it's going on really well. I'm, I'm really pleased with it. Had a fuzzy hair, had to get that off of there. But the flakies are just so odd shaped. I mean, there's some big ones, some little ones, different colors. I was really liking these. Oh, and by the way, all of these polishes Sister Chick sent me also. <laughs> so this is a Miss Debbie manicure. All of the polishes in this one are from her. And I am just going in and adding some more to that. Just kind of building it up a little bit. And I'm going to add another coat over here too. It's alive! But this was a very much enjoyed manicure. I did wear it for three days, which is pretty good for me. Um, you know, two or three days is about my norm. If you ever hear me say I wore something for four or five days, that means I was just really in love. I did really love this one, though. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. All that shimmery goodness. Now I'm going to use this American Classics Jealous and it's a um, kind of a filler. It helps smooth things out. And I really do like to use it anytime I use anything chunky or if I use like a pixie dust or a sand polish. It just kind of helps smooth it out a little bit. Oh, there's Woody. So we're going to smooth it out a little bit before we put our regular top coat on. And I was tapping the end to make sure that I didn't have any, you know, wonky unevenness down there. And I do love this Jealous. I remember when I first got into polish, there was a, a polish that was sold by an indie maker, and you could only get it from them. That was the only company I knew that sold it, and it was called Glitter Food, and it did the same thing. But, of course, you know, you had to order it online and wait. So, here we go. We're going to top this all off with some Posh Top Coat. It's a fast dry top coat. Get it to dry down so we can do some stamping. I'm not going to stamp on the orange nails. I'm just going to stamp over the glittery black nails with those foils. Look at that. That would, that would look good just by itself. Today I'm going to be using BMH08 and my Nicole Diary White Stampin' Polish. And it is NS01. And I'll be using my Monocle Stamper and my Clear Jelly Scraper. And I'm going to use this hand image. I think I use this image every year. It's just one of those that, that I like. <laughs> just looks like little ghost hands or zombie hands reaching out all over. But it still leaves room for that flaky goodness to peek through. <clears throat> I'm going to clean off my plate with some acetone and a cotton ball and do it again to the other nail. But I really, really like this one. <clears throat> kind 
Ta-da! Now we're going to go in with a little piece of tape and try to clean up what ever got all over my skin around my fingernails. Y'all know I love to do this. It helps cut down on the acetone usage. Hopefully saving my cuticles a little bit. <clears throat> and I've decided I just need just a touch of this top coat. I didn't even use any acetone on this one. That's pretty good. Got it all cleaned up with the tape. So I'm going to float this top coat over the top, which means kind of applying a very liberal amount of a top coat to my brush. Because white is one that smears on me normally, so I want to make sure I don't smear those hands. Of course, with this design, you could just say I meant to do that. <laughs> Nobody would know. <laughs> make them look even more ghostly. And there's Woody. Yay. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And... It gets a little blurry at times, but that gives you kind of an idea of the, you know, the shimmery, glittery goodness that's going on. Just makes it twinkle. So there we go. We have gotten that one done. We're going to cap our end and make sure that this one is set. And there we go with the woody again. Kind of do just a little bit of scraping around that finger to get that excess off of there. There we go. That is my manicure. I really hope you like this one. I'd love to hear what you think. Here's my swatch photo. Leave me a comment down below. Love talking to you. Thanks for watching. Until next time, think of yourself. Bye.